In 2010, Ultravision started manufacturing HID driving lights. We went on to 2013 and started progressing into mining lights, which was the Invader and the Enforcer. And that was our first LED generation of lights with the first LED driving lights, which was the Nitro 80. In 2014, we started making the PCB boards for all these products in-house, mainly because the supplier in Melbourne struggled with supply. In 2015, we introduced the Nitro 120, a nine inch driving light. It was the first to crack one lux at one kilometer. In 2016, we introduced the Tornado light bar to the fleet, a 10 inch all the way through to the 42 inch. In 2017, we introduced a Nitro Max range. It started with an 80 watt driving light, which was seven inch round and could crack one lux at 800 meters. And then brought out a nine inch 140 light that could crack one lux at 1200 meters. That very year, we also introduced Nitro light bar range, which went from seven inch all the way to 29 inch, which replaced the Tornado. In 2017, we introduced the Raptor range, it had a 7 and a 9 inch driving light and also a range of light bars which were made up for cheaper price point and fleet vehicles. In 2019 we bought out another new 9 inch driving light which was called the Nitro 180 Max. It could crack 1 lux at 1.8 kilometres. So that means in real terms what you can do is read a newspaper 1.8 kilometres away from your light. This brings us to 2020 and what holds for Ultravision's future? Well, currently, as we've always done, we've always tried to aim to be the best in the market, where I say 9001 credited. And we're looking at new products in the pipeline as we speak. So we're looking at getting our products to shine further and better than ever before. We're also looking at developing products that will make it easier for the installer and for the end user. Ultravision have also looked at investigating laser technology. Have you already probably seen it on the market? But from an Ultravision point of view at this stage, we feel that laser is not meeting our standard of performance. So instead, we're pursuing new LED technology ideas that will surpass the performance of laser. So stay tuned.